Hi, my name is Dr. Laura Erickson Schroth. I'm a psychiatrist, and I'm also the chief medical officer at the Jed Foundation. I'm here to talk to you today about opiate overdose. More Americans die every year from accidental overdoses than from car crashes. Opioids are prescribed for pain because they help to block the pain signals that are going to our brain. Typically, they're prescribed for short-term things like surgery or cancer-related pain or for people at the end of their lives. And doctors are told that they're only supposed to prescribe opioids in these kinds of situations where there's gonna be short-term pain. When providers use opioids, they use them for the shortest time possible and at the lowest dose needed to help with the pain. But the problem is that they're often prescribed for other reasons and people can become dependent on them. Opioid abuse is common. One in four people who are prescribed a long-term opioid by their primary care provider struggle with addiction. Opioids can be addictive because they release a chemical called dopamine in our brains. That chemical dopamine is the chemical that's released when we do pleasurable things like spending time with friends, eating, or working out. When you use an opioid, your brain releases dopamine and it makes you feel good. Your brain starts to seek out the opioid so it can keep the feeling going and then you start to have cravings for opioids. Because opioids help you release so much dopamine, the release of dopamine you get from other activities just can't compare. So all the pleasurable activities you used to enjoy can no longer compete. Opioids can also cause significant withdrawal symptoms and that can lead people to go back to using because they want to avoid the distress that comes with the withdrawal symptoms. Some examples of withdrawal symptoms from opioids include restlessness, irritability, anxiety, sweating, nausea, diarrhea, muscle aches, One of the biggest problems we have in our country is an opioid called fentanyl. It's about 50 times stronger than heroin and even a tiny amount can cause an overdose. Most people don't go looking for fentanyl, but they end up taking it because it's combined with other drugs. Fentanyl is a cheap way for dealers to make their pills stronger. It's not just opioids that are laced with fentanyl. It's also mixed with other drugs sometimes, like cocaine, amphetamines, and even MDMA, which is ecstasy or molly. There have even been cases of THC gummies being dusted with fentanyl. So even if someone thinks they're taking a drug that they already know, there's a chance it could be laced with fentanyl, and it only takes a tiny amount smaller than the tip of a pencil to cause an overdose. Last year, nearly 80% of teens and young adults who overdosed did so on fentanyl. And more and more adolescents are overdosing the first time they take a drug because it's been laced with fentanyl. There are very effective treatments for opioid use disorder. Some symptomatic treatments that help you to get through withdrawal, help you to get through the nausea, the muscle aches, the diarrhea. And then there are medications you can take long term to help with opioid use disorder. Methadone is a very effective medication, but it requires going to a clinic every day to pick it up. Buprenorphine, also known as Suboxone, is a newer medication. And it's helpful because it provides more options. It can be prescribed and it's safe to take at home. If you're gonna experiment with substances, there are some things you can do to decrease the risk of something dangerous happening. Do your best to get the substance from a reliable source where someone you know has gotten that substance in the past. This won't prevent something dangerous from happening, but it can decrease the risk. Avoid using substances alone. If something happens while you're using a substance, there'll be someone there to help. If you're concerned about the risk that a substance might be laced with fentanyl, search online for somewhere where you can get fentanyl test strips for free. Fentanyl is most likely to be used to lace opioids, but it can also be found in substances like cocaine, methamphetamines, and MDMA, which is ecstasy or molly. If you're using an opioid or concerned that there might be fentanyl in another substance you're using, have naloxone available. Naloxone is a medication that can reverse an opioid overdose. Naloxone is the generic name for the medication that many people know as Narcan. Here are some things you need to know about naloxone. It can't get you high and it doesn't lead to addiction. It's only used for opioid overdoses. Anyone over the age of 12 can carry naloxone without parental consent. You can get naloxone through your doctor, and in some states, you don't need a prescription and can get it from the pharmacy. There are often community trainings where you learn how to use naloxone and you get several doses for free. Naloxone won't work in any other kind of overdose, like benzodiazepines, cocaine, or amphetamines, 
but it also won't cause any harm. So if you think someone might have overdosed on an opioid or fentanyl could have been laced into the medication they were taking, try giving them naloxone. Naloxone is often effective past its expiration date. So if you have naloxone, no matter what the expiration date, give it. Mm -hmm.